Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for May 2nd, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. The morning was mostly cloudy with light to moderate southwest winds. The winds were south overnight, but there was some rain, so I was curious if there was some migration overnight, and Kim and I found a good bird right away. Here we have a male golden-winged warbler. And right after that, we had the first black-throated blue warbler of the season. After walking around for a bit, we set up the hawk watch, and I enjoyed watching the morning flight. Here we have a Baltimore Oriole. Here we have another Oriole, but this one is much darker in color. This is more of a chestnut color rather than that bright orange. This is a male orchard Oriole, which is much more uncommon here at Derby Hill. A short time later, we heard an orchard Oriole singing. So either that one turned around and came down, or this was the second one. And again, you can see that chestnut color to the underside. We heard a whooshing sound overhead that really sounded like a jet aircraft or something. And we looked up and there was a flock of birds diving down towards the lake. So I swung my camera up and was able to get a photo. And it turns out it was a flock of 50 or more long-tailed ducks. We had another good blue jay flight this morning with more than 3,000 counted. Here we have a beautio and we see a belly band and dark patagial bars. This is a red-tailed hawk, but we don't have a dark bold trailing edge to the wings and we have kind of a light colored tail with thin banding, making it a juvenile red-tailed hawk. And this one's fairly heavily marked. This photo is not very good, but this is one of two ruby-throated hummingbirds that came through together, my first of the season. Here's kind of a lousy photo of a raptor, but we see it's a large dark raptor with kind of a small head and a longer tail and the wings held up into a shallow V. This is a golden eagle. Around 1130, there was some rain that moved in and shut the count down for about a half hour. So it gave me a nice little lunch break. And then I took this photo as I got back outside as it started to clear up. And it really cleared up quickly and became quite warm. Here's a common raven that flew by with something in its bill. Here's a sharp-shinned hawk that we watched stoop into the vegetation behind the number 9 sign and lots of little birds scattered, but I don't think that it got anything. From the north lookout, we had 84 species. The wind began to alternate between a west-southwest and more of a northwest wind with some lake breeze, and the flight line was variable between overhead and farther inland, and eventually the wind settled into a steady northwest wind, and so around 2.30 we made the move down to the south lookout. We had some migration, but the birds were high and it was a very scattered flight line, but this male northern harrier that was hunting gave us a really nice look. To the north and overhead, the sky cleared, but there were some nice cumulus clouds off to the south associated with some rain. And here's the guardians of the south lookout. We have two male red-winged blackbirds hanging out on the rock and on the wind direction pole. From the south lookout, I had 41 species. And when I got back up to the cottage at the end of the day, this male rose-breasted grosbeak was on the feeder. And the female rose-breasted grosbeak was on the other feeder. There were seven new species for the season today, which were ruby-throated hummingbird, wood thrush, orchard oriole, oven bird, golden winged warbler, black throated blue warbler, and scarlet tanager for a total of 166 species seen this season. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had 55 turkey vultures, 20 ospreys, 30 bald eagles. We had 8 northern harriers, 55 sharp shinned hawks, and 2 cooper's hawks. We had 365 broad winged hawks and 11 red tailed hawks. We had one golden eagle and one American kestrel for a total of 548 migrating raptors. That brings the May total to 1,355 and the season total to 79,613. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, they're calling for a steady rain in the morning with showers for the afternoon in a high around 50 and light north-northwest winds, so not very good conditions at all. If I do go out to conduct the count, it will be down at the south lookout, but I wouldn't expect really anything at all. For Sunday, they're calling for cloudy with periods of rain and a high in the upper 50s and light north-northeast winds, so again, pretty unfavorable conditions would only expect minimal, maybe light migration at the south lookout. But things are looking better for Monday. They're calling for cloudy skies with a high in the mid-60s and winds east-southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So I would expect moderate to good migration. All right, a great day of birding here at Derby Hill, especially getting to walk around and look at warblers in the morning and finding that golden-winged warbler with Kim right off the bat. 
The Hawk Witch was a little more hit or miss. We ended up with a decent number, but the looks were mostly unsatisfactory. It looks like the next few days are going to be slower and nice catch up and rest days for me before hopefully we have some bigger days at the beginning of next week. Hope to see you out soon at Derby Hill. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.